Hello guys, it's Brian here. Welcome to the second part of this Tiger tutorial. So if you haven't seen the first one, I'll put the link in the description. So without further ado, let's get this Tiger finished. First off, let's deal with the tracks. Uh, these ones has already been cleaned in uh, soapy water, so I can put them in a small container and soak it with some burnishing fluid. You may need to brush the tracks a few times to release the air bubbles that's tracked in some indented areas. Once it's done, we can add more rust and dust as we pleased. Now let's move on to the main body. Firstly, I used some acrylic colors to quickly draw some random patterns on the camouflage. Uh, of course, you need practice and you should be confident about what you are doing uh, because acrylics dries really fast and once you made a mistake, it is uh, not that easy to correct. But on the other hand, you can achieve some unique textures very quickly. Then we may move on with oil colors to further enhance the contrast and saturation. It surely takes time, but it is really a fun and rewarding process, like painting pictures. And now you may also appreciate why we paint such a pale camouflage. It is just a nice canvas to play with, to make all these colors pop. Uh, you may also notice that I'm not doing everything in a linear fashion, because in real life, I do go back and forth a lot. And of course, uh, for my Patreon supporters, uh, I've also made a much, much longer uh, version of this tutorial, including a lot of extra content. You may find the link in the description. So the weathering on the main body is almost finished, but before we move on, uh, we have to paint all the tools and small details. I know there were some discussions regarding what's the correct color of the areas where the zimmerets peeled off. Some say gray and some say red. It doesn't really bother me, but for argument's sake, according to the references I had, I'd go with the red. Now let's deal with the wheels. 
which tigers have a lot. Uh, so I glue them together for easier painting and weathering, since it's a totally static model and it's not going into a diorama. Uh, the weathering process is quite straightforward, and just remember to keep things random and don't do everything on every wheel. At this stage, I think the tiger looks quite nice already, but we can always make things even more interesting. Uh, we can further play with dust and rust, smoke, fuel stains and remarks, you name it. It's never ending and it's more of a personal preferences right now. Uh, so after a few touch-ups here and there, I think I have a nice looking tiger. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy the process as much as I do, uh, especially for all those tank lovers. And consider to subscribe to my channel as well. Um, thanks for watching. My name is Bowen Wu, and I'll see you in the next one.